Hey, Bryson, appreciate you uh, spending a couple of minutes with the group here. Of course. We will uh, once again go to our leadoff hitter, Greg Barnes. Go ahead. Hey, Bryson, uh, can you just kind of walk us through the, the transition that you've gone through, kind of adapting to this level of play and, and what's worked for you? Yeah, uh, I mean, it really just started work, working hard in practice. Uh, I mean, you know, ever since I got here, just, you know, keeping my head down, keep working, and then, uh, you know, Coach Lilly, uh, all the older guys just putting me in good positions to succeed. Well, you had some success early in the season. How key was that for you to, to have that level of success, you know, in, in minimal snaps to kind of get everything rolling along for you? Yeah, yeah, uh, it definitely helped my confidence, you know, uh, just being out there and getting the reps, uh, you know, and, and showing myself that I can do it, uh, you know, it really helped uh, shape for the rest of the season. Great, thank you. Okay, uh, over to Andrew Jones. Hey, Bryson, uh, you actually showed up in the summer. You didn't show up early. So how long did it take you to feel like you were fully caught up like you would have been had you shown up uh, back in January? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the big thing for me was really just getting the playbook down. Uh, you know, our playbook has so many different options to it. So uh, it probably took me about two, three months to, you know, really, really get down what I uh, needed to do. And, uh, you know, we just kind of went from there. So was that the biggest challenge or was it, what was the physical challenge? How was adapting to things physically, the speed of the game, how good the cover, the guys that cover are at this level? Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, the biggest thing strength wise is definitely my blocking. Uh, you know, I kind of came in here more of a, more as a receiving tight end. Uh, you know, I'm trying to kind of mold myself to kind of be an all around tight end. So uh, blocking is probably the biggest part. And then receiving, uh, you know, that was definitely hard too, but uh, I think I've been doing a good job with getting better on uh, all my receiving aspects. If I can ask a quick follow-up, Mark, is the blocking, has that come along to the point that's why you're getting on the field more because they, they could trust you more with running lots of different things when you're on the field? Right, right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be classified as a tight end if I only went in there to go uh, catch the ball. So yeah. uh, it definitely helped to, uh, you know, keep practicing, keep getting the fundamentals. And then, uh, you know, eventually I was able to hold my own in, on the line and uh, some playing time came from that. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, C.L. Brown, go ahead. Yeah, I, I was wondering, Bryson, what, what a game like Saturday did for you in terms of that confidence and, and how you see your role expanding going forward. Right. Uh, yeah, you know, it definitely gave me the confidence to, uh, you know, go through the whole game. Uh, you know, it was more reps than I've ever had in the game. So, uh, you no, know, it definitely helped. And, you know, as, as long as I keep progressing, you know, I see that role keep expanding. Uh, you know, just got to keep my head down and keep working. And was there any any point in particular, or, or for that matter, any player in particular that, that kind of helped you along with the playbook? Uh, yeah, I would probably say that first catch in the game, uh, you know, it kind of shaped the, uh, you know, the coverage for the uh, for Notre Dame the rest of the time and, you know, boosted my confidence and, uh, you know, was able to keep me out there. Thanks. Adam Smith, go ahead. Bryson, hey, uh, just wondering if there's, you know, a guy that you like to try to pattern your game after, someone you look up to and, and study and, you know, and would like to, you know, grow toward that type of guy's game. Right. Uh, yeah, NFL-wise, I'd definitely say Darren Waller. Uh, you know, I've watched a lot of film on him, uh, his blocking tapes, his receiving tapes, and uh, I think he's on his way to becoming a true uh, all-around tight end, and he's who I look to model my game after. Anybody on the team that you try to really listen to and, and sort of get in their back pocket and follow around? Yeah, uh, definitely Kamari Morales and Garrett Walson. You know, uh, they've done nothing but help me kind of get through this transition to college. Uh, you know, all the little tips, everything, it's been uh, really helpful. Cool, man. Thank you. All right, Bryson, that's all we got for you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it.